Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a really uh, neat little trick you can do in Excel to um, stop the quick fill handle and drag and drop feature from actually working. And if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So the um, drag and drop or the, the quick fill handle will allow you to do things like this. I've got week one here. I want to add four more weeks really quickly. So I grab this little tiny square in the bottom right hand corner. My cursor will change when I hover over it and go down. Now I've added a bunch more weeks. I can do it all the way to week 10. Works very quickly. Similarly, I could highlight these two numbers and double quick the quick fill little handle guy and it automatically fills in 1 to 10. Now if I wanted to move it, highlight it and I can move it around by clicking the outside box. Now it's a very useful feature and a lot of people use it in Excel. So the only reason I could think of to take this off would be two reasons. One, you're building a user form for someone and you don't want them to be able to use the quick fill handle or drag and drop. Basically you'd like to make it idiot proof. Or two, you really want to annoy your coworker. So we're going to do this by going to the office button, Excel options, here make sure you go to the advanced tab and in the editing options section right at the top uncheck enable fill handle and cell drag and drop uncheck that click OK now notice there is no little square in the bottom right hand of the highlighted cell and when I hover my mouse cursor over it nothing changes so I cannot click it and drag it or drop it all I can do is select a bunch of cells so that is uh, it for how you can uh, remove the quick fill handle and drag and drop feature. Now once again I'm going to show you where it is. You want to get it back, go to the office button, Excel options, advanced tab, enable fill handle and cell drag and drop. Now if you want to get it back simply check that box again and click OK. Note when you do this it's not only going to turn it off for a single spreadsheet, it's going to do it for all of Excel. So every time someone opens up their spreadsheets, that's going to change. Um, or for all of the open spreadsheets, it will change. So that's it for this tip.